people need to have a couple of things line up. Yeah. And uh, the, the reason that it will happen is because eventually it becomes so studied and it is a best of one and they'll have an off day yes. that eventually they will get rocked. Will Big be the team to be able to do that? That's the big question. And I personally don't think so. But why should we ever assume so? Let's just watch and see if it happens. Yeah, let's let them speak for themselves. And, and Searson, well, he's singing. That USP, two taps outside. Yard push gets completely okay. called. I'm talking five alive for Big out of the CT spawn. Maybe. In Counter-Strike, of course, top nine last year. One of his most important positions was CT side nuke. But uh, Big are not coming into this game with a great nuke win percentage. And Navi obviously flawless in the last three months. 100% win rate. Rounds like these. Mm, don't you dare let this slip through the fingertips. Searson to a quarter health. Four members of Navi outside, just trying to face, seeing what they can get done. It's just such a, you know, it's like striking fear into the hearts of your enemies by doing nothing. CT super. Super cautious with some of these peaks, but uh, Tapson gonna go ahead, take a little bit of a risk, and it's paying off nicely. Two frags from his, on the Fomus, tapping away for the third. Gates starting to feel a little empowered here. He's got teammates all around him. Nice triple, a full house on the Fomus outside, and an easy second round win from Big. We saw a nice one-way smoke from FaZe in the last game where they smoked off secret when they saw the three smokes on the cross outside. And that was cool because you had, you know, $300 to counter $900 of utility. And more than that, the majority of smokes in a round. So you, the, the thing is about nuke is that it's everything to do with outside, even if you don't use outside at all. And that's just because 70 to 80% of the rounds, you're using some variation of smokes at one point or another to draw attention from the CTs. And that's the number one ways T's cause rotate. So that's where a lot of the emphasis will be for both Navi and Big this game. I like that, Keto. I really like that. Gets up into the smoke, knows the lineup for the Molotov, puts down the Molly to take further control, and then even takes a bit of a risk by running into the flames to challenge Lobby. Really nice opening play from Keto. You know, your calculated risk and uh, an apparent reward. But, however, in the meantime, Navi just doing a good job of cutting them down one after another into the A site they shall go. And Searson, all that's left over. Now, a single scout shot to each of the three players still alive would give Big the 3-0, but it's just too much to ask of him. That was, and looks like he'll concede. There's actually a lot to unpack here. This is kind of an interesting call because there's no cross smokes outside and Navi do a default in, in and hold where, where they're holding lobby. They don't put like super pressure on squeaky or even do any kind of fake or anything like that, but big kind of run into them where they expect them to be. Now the irony of lobby for the T side is sometimes it's best to just leave like one person there because they're, you're, you, once you get crunched upon, there's not a lot of good places to stand. So in a default, sometimes you'll just have one person sitting there, they try to get their kill or they have a good advantage to get one kill, but then they get traded out and then you see where the CTs go and then you squeeze for outside control or whatever. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I guess when you know they're there, it can be a good time to attack from all sides. But yes, I mean, the big must have realized that they were probably going to have a lot of duels to have to take. It's one of those, it's one of those, it's like tug of war, right? Yeah. But like the squid game kind of tug of war. That oh. if you lose, you die. Oh, whoa. And you have to whoa. get that first kill, then peek from the other side, and then you fully tolerant player that you might know. Yeah. And he pulled up in a smart car and pulled out his computer, and we made fun of him 30 minutes in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why now he plays Valorant. That was actually something else. <laughs> Smokes and frags. And a nice opening pistol kill from Tizian. You take those. A little bit of wall bang damage on top of it. Can Tizian get himself another? Ooh, come on. He's right there. Prime for the popping. Bit's gonna tuck in behind the vent. Simple kills Tabson. That's through the mini smoke that Simple's managed to line that one up and then trades Bit right away inside of this site. Simple down beneath you is the Galil in the hands of Searson. Looks like Keto wants to go to heaven. Oh, and he sends Simple to hell. Two versus two, minute on the clock, bomb dropped, and Searson looks like he wants to spring this trap whenever the time may come. Thing is, Navi, they've already got their footing inside of the bomb site. They've picked their bomb back up as well, and they'll push it around towards heaven's side. I like this reposition 
from Keto all the way back around towards Lobby. Searson's been found out inside a vent, and now he's so locked in because Electronic's not going to give him the cover of those blue boxes. But maybe, just maybe, the squeaky peek can get Electronic off of this, allowing Searson to come through. But no, it's got to be the trade-in from Keto. Deagle to the face of Electronic, and Perfecto smokes himself inside of the back site. Time ticking quickly, and Keto trying to give chase. Perfecto through smoke. Back and forth he goes. And Keto trying to make him peek around. There's the headshot oh. from Keto, but there's just no time to defuse. Yeah, no kid to work with and they'll have to run from. At least five down here for Navi and some nice shots from Keto as well. That's 5K every headshot, you know? So three rotations to lower, which is, makes it incredibly important. And it also uh, allows you to cause rotations just by threatening that someone could have dropped, even if they didn't. Critical turning point here, guns up both sides. Oh, man. Wow, that's some money spam. Not fun these days being a mini player. No. Never no, has been, actually, but yes. Yeah, it feels like, oh, Boomich eats the team <laughs> flash. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to run all the way to cover. got to get his brakes checked. <laughs> It just skirts to the back of the site, and everything seems to be going well for Navi. They clear Keto out of the rafters. Uh, There's just going to be Searson left. <laughs> we gotta, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we got a runaway train on A site. Forgot the e-brake and parked on a hill. Yeah. He almost got it. He almost got all the way to the box, but it was the player on top of Hut that kills him anyways. What the hell? He was doing like a few damage. Oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> Every step or two. Didn't know about it. We'll have to show him after, I guess. <laughs> What? That's great. That's how you create space, by the way. Never stop. Just because you're yeah, blind. Sure. Yeah, that's creating something. Mm -hmm. uh, Searson has to concede this one. Looking to hang on to the op for the next round. Navi, early lead on this T side after the 2 0 start. Yeah, but it is like so, even like to make that serious for a second, like he's crossing to that box in the corner, right? He knows he's dead. I mean, he, he lives, but in his mind, he knows he's dead, but he's running out. And the thing is that the guy on the back of the site. He's constantly having to give up angles by like following him over to the box. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he does that, second guy out immediately has an advantage on whoever was shooting. So just the simple as of outside control. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, there's something that, like on Mirage, if you do aggressive mid control, you can still retake A. Upper, a lot harder. Yeah. Keeps you so timid, keeps you so kind of, you know, in tune with what the hell could be. Oh, hold up. Aha. We've got two players down in vent. Bit and Perfecto wasting no time. Already challenging downstairs. I believe Boomich has also joined them. So that's three members of Navi, plus Bit coming around through ramp and Electronic with his passive outer play, just making mincemeat of this round versus big. Oof. The only silver lining is maybe Keto gets to escape with the op. This wasn't a full-fledged buy from big either. But uh, you definitely hope for more than this in terms of the hold, regardless of the purchase. Yeah, that was slippery. Very, very clean. And it's the smoke oh, they throw. No op save. Yeah, that's yeah, no op save for the next round as well. That's a tough one. That's another good round. So we'd like in that Dust 2 match, we saw Simple pick the perfect timing for the lower push where they were like low on grenades. It's also very resource intensive to try to defend against Squeaky. Now, you can actually throw a body inside a Squeaky and counter... But honestly, the reads from Navi have been so good that it feels like the prep coming into this game is just perfect. And stop whatsoever. So, uh, you know, but you alluded to that before this game went live. It's tough, man. Or it was Sponge, rather. Excuse me. Can't almost give you all the, the credit. Yeah, Can't give you all the credit just because you look alike. Yep. Boomich, again, just oh, so fast. Wrapping around outdoors. Oh, he knows about the setup, too. He's yep. looking for this loose player. Yep. Wow, they're so careful about... Oh, no, they're taking ramp at the same time. Oh, Boomich will get caught, though, so that's something here for Big. Still, we've got Navi scrambling for the lower site. They're everywhere, man. Dude, they're chasing like crazy. You Tapson can't. making so much noise that Electronics on high alert, and then once they stop that first CT on flank, they commit down into the bomb site, find it clear for the taking. And a 4v2 in the post. How you oh. oh, okay. Nice shot. How you win rounds on T side, nuke, stress the communication as much as possible to the point that it's literally impossible to keep okay. up with the number of places that you go. One of those ways is to get down the vent really early into the round because then you have to you put stress on the ramp guy to communicate and the rotations towards outside if you whoever has to re refresh the ramp guy as well. And in this round, they literally took 
they took the lower control but they also took ramp so quickly after going outside and there's just there's just too many things going wrong at that point to be able to come through sensible rotations and the the idea right now like they could do the catch-all solutions but then they'd just be like weak outside for example or they could try to play someone in secret early maybe someone invents as well and then maybe you know their ramp could get attacked right now it's just whatever navi want to try to do it, is working yeah will probably work so okay five in a row here for navi yep looking a for six ak and an op on big side deep smokes from navi and an opening pick in from bit it's not towards ramp but through a smoke on squeaky i would love to know where taps and died we've already seen him get Ooh. spammed through smoke thanks to simple but a good answer searson's off able to find one and keto pops That's up from the box great timing yeah, but that's that's information on three lower. Keto just dropped. They had the op shot come up from Searson as well. But they smartly also put the smoke down in front of Squeaky. That's huge. Wow, I'm actually shocked that Navi don't just attack upstairs this quickly, but they now find an open ramp. Yeah. Um, however, it, it's probably going towards heaven because of what they've known. Oh, Keto, good for a second this round on the Deeg, but there's also an opera right there. Boomich. Oh, he's serving as a distraction so that Bit can sweep Searson under the rug. Uh -oh. And now they're going to go sprinting down to this B site. But look at the hell. 37 HP for Navi's players combined. Tizzy and Engade hot on their heels. That's going to be weapons in the hands of Big Clan. But the bomb plant's safe enough. And Bit, quick execution versus Tizzy and Gade's got the incendiary, a flash, and an attempt. A deep commitment in the corner of control room, and Boomich on top of the bomb. The Molotov goes beyond, and Gade's looking for the challenge, oh but my God. Bit steps up to both. Headshot, headshot. Play at different points in the year. It's insane how much he's actually developed. Went for this overly disciplined player to playing his spots to perfection, but not being able to focus on his aim, having his notebook out, trying to keep track of everything. <laughs> someone now who knows how to take the exact right risks and has got everybody else scared of him. Yeah, this is a this is a bit of a cluster of around here. Keto, ooh, he sees the feet. Perfecto. This is the same opening move that we got out of Keto in the first gun round from Big CT side. That incendiary last time forced the CT back into lobby. This time we see Perfecto try to oh, play the smoke, and we get taps in outdoors, putting on a show. Very clean. Didn't even have to look down to make that perfect. But Bits alive and kicking. Okay, okay, simple. Settle down. Settle down, I said. Not doing any damage there. Yet. There's an opera in the back of the site with low HP, so... Oh, nice grenade. Yeah, a little chip damage, a little something-something. Puts Bit... One step closer towards death. They wait out the smoke grenade on Squeaky, and I'm sure they're going to wait to see if they can catch somebody... We've seen them find taps in at times inside of Mini. Gade with the grenade. Oh, but he gets the headshot. Tizian was there just in case things went south. Simple taking damage will confirm the audio that he is in fact in here. And now everybody from the defense looking to collapse down upon him. 20 seconds up and Simple going to take a player with him. But then Gade trades and we've got Big Clan putting an end to the streak of Navi. Their third CT round win. Yeah, this is he using his weird voice again. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll put that back. Put that back in the depths of which it came. Much more aggressive utility usage out of Navi here towards Lobby and Searson. Not Keto. Gonna Stop. post up on the peak. This is a point blank attempt from Perfecto. He's Stop. gonna be a screen full of T for Searson. Just gotta click that shot. Come on, perfecto. How many times are you going to fake us out before the swing? Meanwhile, good frag. Oh, they oh. move at the same time. Wow. No way they both wait that long. I was so careful of them. Meanwhile, outdoors, it's going to be Navi taking away some space here, trying to challenge in through heaven. We really haven't seen much of this. One time, Boomich comes out, gets a frag, and doubles back towards Garage. This time... He wants to attack the A site through heaven, and you can see Tizian down beneath him looking up. Gade's more focused on the front side of the site. He just clears top hut here for his teammates. You can now put pressure on Squeaky. 
Oh, but they're going to try to make a move. And they start going forward towards HUD itself. They're flanking Heaven as well. Yep, yep. Boomit, he's going to get attacked from the back, but it looks like he wants to continue to clear things out. Oh, nice double peek, but Electronic in from Garage, and the trades go well for Big. Bit left in the clutch. Bomb in his possession, 20 seconds on the clock, and an exit route. I thought oh. he was going to go to ramp. It's... He could still attack Vent, go down, or just get this frag versus Gade, and you're good to go. Oh, the peak from Gade, well timed. Well, is always the next to die, but um, that'll cause Big to win the rounds. They got a star player at the front, some uh, good protocols behind it. Perfecto, this is fast. Oh man, this is a, this is the holy hell, cranking the oh, dial. Oh Jesus! Just hitting this one with the NOS button fully engaged. Dude, this is so quick. That's the one. And it kind of comes out of nowhere. Like you were saying, right? Every once in a while and they a half, hold, they hold two it to over three times, yeah. and then a slap across the face. We've got Navi back to winning ways, a 7-4 lead. Damn. Damn. Wow. You know, the I had been lulled. I had forgot about it, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it comes out of nowhere, and Big are just strapped. Yeah, from the perspective of conditioning, it's obviously really hard to be like, all right, well, here, here's the one it's going to be. Because because it's just an upper hit, you don't need any map control to do it. You don't even have to throw, like, your outside smokes or anything like that in the beginning. That's the scariest part about it, really. Like, you can do it out of spawn in any given round with the right, right amount of utility. And Navi, they are doing a great job of picking the correct rounds. There was potential for a hold there, actually, uh, because of how well Gade was playing. If he got... Maybe he cuts off other players. Weird one. But uh, tip of the hat to Navi. Changing things up and doing it in the blink of an eye. Seventh terrorist round win to their favor. Silver lining. Big survived with three players, and it's an immediate rebuy. But it's also the waning few rounds of this first half. Four to go. Okay, Searson. More aggressive inside of the hut. A deeper angle being held in the lobby. There are players here who could eventually walk in, but for now it's going to be outside with the three men down secret. Yeah, this is a very weak defense from the CT side. Look how open Ouch. this is. No Ouch. one even made the early rotation downstairs. No one in control room. Keto's super late, and he's getting this info now. He can call for rotations, but they don't even know if it's a fake, so it's really bad, yeah. Caught by doors. Look like maybe he would be able to slip by the control peak, but the doors swing wide open, and Perfecto kills him before he can lock into the rafters. Now oh, Tapson's going to try to make something happen. Slips down through dark, plays close smoke. Ooh, Boomich stops covering control and taps in. Oh, he just can't manage the kill on the plant, but he will catch Boomich. Oh, dude, he'd need a full-fledged ace. All his teammates died on rotation. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Dude, that is bit. Literally, 15 out of 15 rounds, they had a different CT setup. And not just slightly. Like, the amount of variety that they've actually brought into their game is absurd. Tough to get a read on, and even harder to get a hold of. Navi doubling the round count of big. Eight to four on this T side of nuke. Tizian's got a shotgun frag to kick it off, but Simple immediately succeeding outside. Bit looking for the double from the door, and a third challenge. Ooh, but interesting. We've turned this back to the 2v2. Keto kills Simple. Gade refrags through Squeaky and goes one better. He's actually pushed so far into lobby that he would have just heard Electronic, but Electronic then starts to climb up top. And Keto, just individual 1v1s being figured out. They have all the audio cues they know, need to know. Electronic, Ooh. his position known. Ah, and he is stoppable. All right. A flash in the pan from Big towards the end of the defense. Two more to play. Keto looking to get up close and personal and wow, check this okay. out. All right. I like that. Searson challenging at the bottom of silo to the top of roof. And it's going to cost them a lot of HP across the board here. Fights unfolding in all directions. Look at this. We get the run out from Boomit straight through the squeaky door he goes. There were multiple players who could have caught him, but it also looked like he could have slipped a frag to the kill feed before falling. Two of Big's remaining four tagged up heavily. Minute on the clock. Some good practice here for Tabson to drop the vent, do some maintenance. Just make sure they haven't missed the timing and they can clear out, clear out and do a rotation, uh, which can potentially free up ramp. I don't know exactly where he's going to go from here. They can also turn this into a lobby crunch slowly. Get ahead of any timing, but um, Navi for the meantime going late outside. Simple staying inside a squeaky. 
So somehow, again, this might be the perfect response. And oh, they're smoking mini outs. That's tricky. However, Woo. Searson doesn't care. Deep, deep. Oh, no. <gasps> he stands in the open. Gets caught out. Now it's about pinching simple at the perfect timing. And Tizian shotgun to the face. It falls to Perfecto. He does find an evacuation route. Fakes the sound. Comes oh, back oh up. <laughs> and imagine a world where he kills Keto. Uh, he had to make it look like an upstairs hit. But to take attention away from outside. Then the two players walk through. And once they walk through that smoke, if they do, they have many smoked as well. Which is key for them. Two pistols for Navi to close out the offense, but they're just going to go back to what has worked. It's going to be a simple ace split. We've got a CT still on top of Hut, though. Gate and Keto lock it. Got to break through Navi, who are comfortable on this CT side. That's, that's actually very often that Navi give up halves like this and then still, you know, come back um, in the most dire circumstances as well. Um, so we'll see. But that was actually, you know, they quietly just came back into that half. It, it felt like it was going to get real ugly. Um, Big even were, were able to have a couple of really strong upper defenses, so that's nice. Signs of life. I really have, I'm having such a hard time, like, investing myself into the idea that Big could win, you know, after Dust 2 and the fact that it's Nuke, but of course, wouldn't it be wonderful if we were wrong? That it would be, my friend. Betway odds very skewed, and an even pistol for wow. the time being. Bit. Ooh, can he stop him? He's being distracted and he knows it. Tries to turn around onto Tabson. And Searson gets through this window. But in the meantime, it's lobby control to the favor of Navi. So that forces Big downstairs towards B. And Electronics already in position. Searson right in front of the window. Jumps up. Gets cut down. And the bomb's still planted. Tabson gets tapped back by Electronic. And okay. Boomich okay. with the final frag. Okay. Production, can we just see where Electronic rotates when they take outside? Immediately, Electronic gets into the vent when they go for their outside wrap, right when he's the mini player, meaning he knew that they were going to eventually end lower. They were that far ahead on the strat, and then he gets into control room as they're crossing. And uh, this right here, after we see this, and the trades come down outside, Electronic drops. And then Bit, of course, has some pressure inside of uh, Control Room, but, or ins inside of Hell, but look at Electronic. All three frags because he'd made this rotation early. Oh. Oh. Well before it looked clear that they would make it down there <laughs> at all. Damn. Feeling themselves after the pistol. I think that's going to be like, you know, a prime example of the comfort of Navi on the defense, dude. We talk about how, oh my god, Nuke is just all about those confidence rotations, and the pistol had a prime example of it. Simple two Fomas headshots through smoke, because one is not enough, and the AUG of Electronic cuts down Gade. This is some sick anime reference, but <laughs> going down on, on Nuke, going down the vent is easy. Okay. Coming um, or he just lied about it and never actually watched it and just wanted to make you feel proud. No, he referenced stuff. I don't know. He did his homework. You never know. Anders is Slippery Snake. Cheeky Devil. What do we got? We got Searson on the op. And we've got Keto looking to cut through these smokes outside. Electronic. Trying to phase the side of this one, but it is Keto downstairs. Obviously, the possibility has been called because we get Navi to rotate down through vents. And uh, a little bit of pressure here. A dink through the smoke Ooh, puts Boomich back. in a tough position. Perfecto going to be talked. Ooh, it's the barrel of the op that gives it away. He fires off and falls back. God, that's so well handled for both of them, actually. They stay alive. They don't die in their positions. Ramp they have hit. ramp set up with two. Oh, bit. Tethering very nicely with simple. Total shutdown on the front of the ramp room. It's at the base of heaven that Tapson will fall. And Keto's opening down towards secret ultimately means nothing. That is such good decision making from the two guys upstairs. You have a, a spot where Perfecto, off of his decisions, inside of Hut doesn't get opt. Do, shoots at the opera, doesn't get a chance to kill him, but is able to second. Searson never taking that scope off of the bit commitment, mm -hmm. but it doesn't come through. Not before Simple kicks his teeth in, and we're going to get a fast one. A quick clash from Big past the defense on the A site. Into B, they shall sprint, but Bits gets ahead of this. And so a bomb plant will be desperate. 
The window was busted open, but nobody came out. Bit just staying focused on sight, dies to the pistol of Keto, who oh. then gets snapped back by Simple. But Tizian is succeeding elsewhere in picking up frags and picking up AKs. That'll give him a chance. A good chance, in fact. As all of a sudden, Big are in a comfortable two oh. versus two. He's got players both above him, and Tizian not sure which side he needs to peek. He could have fallen back by now, but instead he is locked into this fight. And as he starts to second guess it, all of a sudden, he goes down. It falls to Gade. A one versus two in the back of this bomb site, And the utility's here for Navi, but it's going to be about timing on the peak. And he's not sure where they're at. A one tap from the Tech Nine. The defuse coming through. Perfecto oh! is denied. Let's go. They want it. Yeah, that they do. They got nothing else to do today. There is no doubt in my mind. Big, they qualify for finals. That's what they do. Blast finals, that is. But uh, okay. Listen, I have a very okay. strong opinion. I hate people who play up on top of that roof, and that's what you deserve. A one tap. Simple gets reconfigured. That's a great nade. And we are left in the 5v3. Tapson also succeeds in dropping Perfecto. It falls onto Bit. He's got two players testing him, but this is an excellent round. Okay. On the pistols here for Navi. Hmm. Nuke Shriek on the line. Hmm. Now we're talking. And who would have ever tried to tell you that Big would be the ones to end that? No one. They're not they even top five on the list of teams. And yet That'd be here expected we to do it. are. Two rounds away from the tie. Still plenty of rounds to play out on Nuke. But I always try to warn people... Big's first series at any single blast event. Dust two. <laughs> well, let's forget about that. Focus only on this. Keto. Ooh, he didn't uh -oh. see him. There are three oh, they're CTs everywhere. here. Oh, dude, Keto doesn't realize, man. He is in the bear's den. Oh. Simple over the top. You know, it's poor Tabson who ends up paying the price. Keto's like, yeah, man, it's clear. Come on over. Now, he's been cut off from the rest of the team, but they will use ramp room to go down and attack this B site, where, sure enough, wow. Navi get their pistols in position. Okay, dude. AK dropped and acquired. Boomich still playing with the power oh, of Zeus. they missed it. They missed the, oh, the right. volley is bad. Oh, but they get him off the plant. Yep, that's it's one still thing. Up. Smoke in front of him. Spray through doors, and he's just going to go for the cover. Fading on the other side, Searson with another crucial op shot inside of this bomb site. There's Gade to get the better of Simple, and it's going to have to be bit 1v3. Plant, easy. Tap, there. Second no is way. his, and it's just bit with Gade in the back of the bomb site. We saw Gade clutch the 1v2, but now it's versus bit in the 1v1, and he's thinking about where he'd be. And he's on victory lane, baby. Big clan, 10th round secured. Oh, man, always posing a risk. No armor on bit in that one and nearly is able to win it they miss a crucial molly if they bounce it through control um, at the same time it's 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 a good it's a it's a it's nice to see that they're able even able to win there because of course uh navi have eco better teams than them oh okay messing around with the smokes outside this game's starting to feel a little tight it's simple. Good night. One frag after. And taps and trades some electronic into the mini fight. Ooh, sees the shadow, but won't win the duel. Commitment on the spray from Boomich. Taps and comes in, and Perfecto Ooh, goes yeah. big. Two frags to lock down this A site and force Searson into the clutch with the op. Plenty of time to play. But he's going to have to peel them off one by one. It's the Heaven Peak plus the commitment over towards the vent. Searson gets out from Hut. And the silo's gonna give him cover. Oh, and he gets the first one. A great clutch. But Bit's 22 and 12. And we praise this kid for what feels like everything he does. Oh my God. Oh, Instant dude. double dink, dude. Stands out in the open. Yeah, his... I'm, like he yeah. yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. Bit's got great clutch stats too. That's the thing, yeah. That's what I mean, dude. Every every element of his game just deserving some sort of praise. He'll be back at bat. Many players pushing past, or at least trying to. He'll get the one and fall. 
And so will Big down into this B bomb site. Already being held by Simple on the control cross. Thinking about coming in for second servings. Has support all around him, so this is a very comfortable setup for Navi. Yes, there's a player who attacks their secret, but it was Tabson in control that throws the biggest question into the round. Gade, Tech 9, still half health up in his hands. Top performer, 21 frags, 1v2. And a minute to work. He's already gotten out of control. He could just slip up through heaven onto A. Not known that much for being in the clutch, so this will be a real test for Gade but a real good opportunity. Mm, he goes back, and they're right here, ready to trade one after another, and he just doesn't nail that first shot. Even had he done so, Electronic's gonna swing with the op on cycle. So, Navi, stellar stuff. And he's always, almost always having a good game no matter what. 24 and 13 for a bit. That's uh, a big one. He's got his paws on every round. Whoa, hey there. <laughs> Keto not expecting somebody to be standing on top of blue completely cuts off his attempted route on top of mini that's an easy pickup for electronic plucking the duck out of the sky but still it's big to group up oh man that makes all these kills so much easier just yep. that little bit of damage especially when we have boomich working with the famas or bit, excuse me. But they don't commit to it, Mo. They fall back. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Anything can work, anything can fail. They have got Tabson into that electronic spot sitting inside a secret by electronic himself. Ooh, if Tabson doesn't come in, though. Or if Tabson's ready for the fight, but electronic wins it with sub 10 HP. And Simple will Optizian out of this one as well. So two versus five situation looking a little bit too desperate for Big. And Navi CT side starts to come back alive. We had yeah. some good moments here from Big Clan, but now it feels like it is truly starting to slip. And that 19, 19 wins in a row on Nuke is looking likely. One thing you'll notice is wherever the real magic to the CT side is that just for whatever reason, Simple is just so good at the information and the, the experience of the team he plays, he always knows where you're going to end. And if he has made that final rotation of getting into upstairs, that's when you know that like they believe, the whole team believes that it's going to end upstairs, wherever they put that off. Because you have the freedom to rotate if you're Hell, Heaven, Ramp, and outside, all between each other. But as soon as you go... Desperate situations from big from here on out. We're gonna have the op AK and pistols in the 25th round of nuke Navi looking for that 15th round to secure OT at least and Searson may be looking for what electronic offered them last round some kind of an exposed position working above blue somebody trying to stop them from attacking the roof of mini You just threw your first frag away in that exact same spot last round. So why not look for the pick? But he sees nothing and he gives it up. Now joining his teammates inside of the lobby, maybe opting to try and find the first frag on A. And it looks like Navi are going to be very content to just lean back on a round like this. They're actually super close in front of the HUD as well. They're just... As soon as someone makes a makes a noise, I'll probably get some information. Like the rotation's coming over from Simple to reinforce with Bit. And Bit's got the first, has good cover as well. Oh, oh he hits the wall bang, sends him a message. And then falls back passively as Bit also moves down onto B. And he's not gonna go tucking into the back of the site, but instead sits around on ramp. Four players on the cusp of this, and he cuts down the AK first. Two pistols in front of the oh, off, but Jesus, it is easy man. for Bit. One, two, three, and Navi. A nearly a finished game. Five map and match points here for Navi. And a streak that shows no signs of stopping. Simple, though, will be caught through the smoke. So we've got a little life left in Big. Two frags from Tapson. When push comes to shove, He's going to stiff arm Navi at the start of round 26. 5v3. Can Navi claw their way back? This is when you can go full creativity, art attack in the rounds. You're in a 3v5. You can take all kinds of risks, do unique things, push together. This is where we see some of the most interesting moments from teams at this level. But what's the risk that they're going to take? Let's see, Boomich. 
Oh, gets one. Just shaves Gade off of the pack. And Bit looks to move down into the B site. Will stop bomb. Peaks wide and oh. falls to Tapson though. Tapson offering us a multi-kill in a crucial round. Denying Navi their victory on nuke for at least one round longer. Tapson's not been consistent enough this game, but he's had some key rounds at yes. the same time. So. Yes, highlights here and there. Yeah, yeah. Overall, it's not a good enough game um, from a couple of members on the team. Ooh, Still man. obviously time for that to change. Yes, sir. 15 to 11, only four to go to take it to overtime. It's unlikely, but big. They're probably playing with a lot less pressure. You know, it's Navi every single game. It's just the fact that they're holding on to the streak just... There's one, they get two. They can see the headlines before they occur. That's <laughs> just game sense. Yeah, really nice reads here. Also, you know, very slight peak from Boomich. Managed to grab a player. Just can't slip back into the vents where he would have loved to kind of bunker down. So full buy still up from Navi. The one off on Big Clan, denying Navi a finish on fire. And it looks like we're going to play it quick. Tizian attempts to get down Vent and will make it, but it's both him and Keto at about half health. They're going to continue to barrel down towards B. Bit stuck within ramp, simple, and Boomich open up shop. A comfortable 5v3 advantage for Navi, and they are looking to close on Nuke, but the bomb is planted. The post plant is locked in, and they still have a lobby lurker. That could end up being a crucial factor in this post plant. And sure enough, Gade's able to find one. So now this retake is going to be constantly thinking about that potential lurk. Where's it go? And where is it going to come in from? And Gade is making a great play, but he's caught by Simple. And so suddenly, it's the low HP on Tizian and Keto that needs to come in with the clutch. And Keto, well, he gets wrecked by Electronic as Navi take their opening series at the Fall Finals in a comfortable 2-0 fashion. Oh.